how are we all doing? How are we doing? So, a couple weeks ago, you may remember, I did a video roasting, not really, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> roasting you for your bookshelves. And listen, I tried my best, but some of you were like, Megan, you're being too nice. I'm like, that will probably be a reoccurring problem in this video. <laughs> when you ask me to actually be mean. Be a perfect I can't, thing. I can't, I've tried it and I failed. Why does everyone I expect can't. it then? But I'm gonna try today, I thought it'd be fun to roast you based on your favorite bookshops. So the title is like roasting your favorite bookshops, but like I'm not gonna roast bookshops because I don't really think I have that in me. I don't think that's in my repertoire. But what I think is in my repertoire is making assumptions about you based on your favorite bookshops. KK, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Now, I just wanna say before we get into it once again, everything I say is a joke, or at least trying to be one. So don't take anything seriously. Anything I say is in good fun. I'm gonna try and be mean, because you guys told me I wasn't mean enough in the last one, but I don't know how good I am at that. So let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay, Rebecca, barter books in Alnwick. Let's see what we have here. What do we have here? Oh. What do we have here? Oh, we've got more. Oh, we've got many pictures. Okay, let me like, oh, it's giving, it's giving, yeah, local. <laughs> Not local, the locals. <laughs> it's giving local bookshop vibes. It's giving, why, are, okay, we got records. Okay, it's giving, I think we're in San Francisco, but you are not. <laughs> is giving i think i'm like kind of an antiques fair but i'm a bookshop i'm like what is this a station it listen it's gone <laughs> it's gone to a few like bargain hunt auctions if you don't know bargain hunt is my favorite show i watch it every day um <laughs> bargain hunt auctions and it's gotten some like signs and like oh my god we're cute we're antique okay here's my thing with this one rebecca are you more of a tradish girly, like vintage, or are we more of like a new like LED light girly? Because this bookshop is just feeling a little bit confused for me. It's feeling like it doesn't really know who it is. Oh, I will attest though. The meaning of Mariah Carey, bop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Scientific studies have proven. Listen, if you like Mariah Carey, listen to the audio book of her book. She's an icon, a fucking legend. So it gets plus points for that. But yeah, it's a little bit confused for me. It's giving like old like stone floor. Oh my God, we're like in the dark ages at some point. And then the LED lights comes in and I'm like, hang on. Hang on. Boulder Bookstore in Boulder, Colorado has been one of my faves since I first stepped inside. A bigger on the inside, several floors still one. Okay. I don't. This is giving me architecture wise, like old Hollywood tees. <laughs> I don't know if that's old Hollywood in the, in the slightest. It's giving, it's giving share. Oh, I don't know. The curtains. I feel a little bit attacked. She's cute, I guess. <laughs> I imagine this is very fun to go to, but I don't, I don't like the lighting of these shelves. Like, why are we like in the dark ages down here, but up here we're like, bang, like iCarly walking into the room going, ah. <laughs> That's what it's giving. I don't understand the lighting situ. Let's light the whole thing or not, but we don't have the budget for that. So we're lighting the top one. And I just think we're like a mishmash. Maybe I am roasting the bookshops. Maybe I'm not roasting you. It'll be a mix. <laughs> A mishmash of, of architecture here. Like what is going up with these statues up here? How is this the vibe? The vibe is very confused. Oh, okay. Shanice, this ain't fair. Bradford Waterstones is a vibe. It's in an old church. I don't think I can really drag you for this. Look, who is this man? I bet he's a racist. <laughs> That's the one thing we can drag. He was probably a racist. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. I have always wanted to go to this Waterstones. And the thing is, right, I lived in Leeds, right? When I was at uni, I went to uni in Leeds, which is next door to Bradford. I could have easily gone here, but for the, like half of my degree and pretty much the half that I did my YouTube, I was COVID. So we were locked down. We couldn't go anywhere. Like actually a lot of when I was at uni was like locked down. You can't leave your house. Like me and Tom wanted to go for a walk in Ilkley one day and we were scared the police were going to show up, like handcuff us, like our lives would be over. That was the fear. So I never went because of COVID and I'm really sad about it because it would have been easy for me then. But now I live like six hours away from Bradford and it's not easy for me. So a beauty, a beauty. I'm not about to drag that. That is one of my faves. Oh, Beth. Okay. 
okay okay <laughs> i'm jealous i'm jealous i'm jealous because i have i really want to go to bath bath but like bath is kind of like and that bitch who goes to bath do you know what i mean a little bit a little bit posh a little bit posh <laughs> but i've always wanted to go to toppings and co so can i drag it huh 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 very aesthetic focused like but here's the thing these kind of tables I'm over it now. I'm over books on a table. I'm over books on a table. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I'm over it. Bookshops need to come up with a more exciting way to present books and on tables. And like, here's the thing. I like that you see the covers. That's fun. That's that's fun. Like seeing the covers is fun. We all have a good cover. But uh, there's something about the shelves that is great. Come up with a different way. Come up with come up with a more dramatic, flamboyant way of showing me your books and books on tables. I just don't know if I vibe with that. I said what I said. As and always. I'm not changing on it, okay? It's got your nice filter over all of them. But like, actually, how much is the filter making me like it more? Okay, because Beth is out here like, listen, is great at editing photos, is great. But like, how much of what I see and love is you and not the bookshop? That's what I want to know. <laughs> and I trust it. I feel like a lot of deceiving going on, a lot of deceiving. A lot of deceiving going on. A lot of deceiving. Mm. Ooh, what in Belgium? See, I wanna be like, I wanna be a um, global ho. Do you know what I mean? I wanna go to bookshops all over the world. So part of this is like me doing market research for where me and Tom should go on holiday next so that we go to good bookshops. Is my laptop really loud? My laptop is loud right now. Apologies, the mic is picking that up. Um, It's giving me school library. <laughs> it's giving me, I haven't got my pop filter on i can't be bothered to it uh, can i okay hold up sorry i just realized that i could be p -p 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 yeah just the um that's a no from me i feel like i need to see more of the bookshop but the bookshelves at the moment are giving me school library vibes local bookstore oh she's kind of cute though she's, she's kind of cute, cute though wasn't that a song oh she's kind of hot though right again though mm, i feel like we've got different no actually i quite like the vibes but it kind of reminds me of like an airport bookstore <laughs> do you know what i mean like the kind of white like clean vibes it kind of gives me airport vibes i don't know how i feel about that a lot colleen hoover Listen, the bookstores have got to get their coin, but do I agree with it? I don't know. I mean, I've never read Colleen Hoover, so I can't, I, <laughs> I can't attest to it. But all I know is she was once a meme and now she's apparently it. How has that happened? I mean, it's happened because of book talk, but like, I swear Colleen Hoover was like a meme. Like, that's mean, but like, <laughs> like was a joke, not a joke, but like, you know, was no longer it. She wasn't the it girl. Also, I feel like you need to have like, two of a book on a shelf when i'm in a bookshop like we've got limited real estate why are we giving the sequel in a like that's dreams of god of monsters which is the second or third book we don't need like six of them out at a time put them in the storeroom put them in the storeroom okay oh we've got another bar to books apparently bar to books is that girly bookman's corn in chicago it feels like a treasure hunt and it's owned and operated by one very nice man oh my god i love old old nice man oh wait he didn't say it was old i just assumed Okay, maybe he's not old. <laughs> Devin, I just have to guess that you're a little bit chaotic. <laughs> I love the vibes, but also I hate them. I'm, I'm confused because... Like, I could never find a book I was interested in here. It's giving hoarders. <laughs> but I also like the chaoticness. Do you know what I mean? I don't know where I fall on this, but Devin, for this to be like your favorite bookshop, I think you like chaos. Books on the Hill in St. Albans. Albans? Albans, Albans, Albans. Another one I've always wanted to go to. Isn't it cute? Oh, it is kind of cute. Oh, okay, it is kind of cute. Elle, you're that bitch. And I'm dragging you for being that bitch. <laughs> she said, yeah, I go book shopping in St. Albans. And what about it? Like, you know what I mean? If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you know, you know. If you don't know, like, I honestly feel bad for you. Like, yeah, I do like the vibes. And do you know what I mean? It's kind of like cohesive in vibes. Some of the other bookshops we've looked at have been like, like trying to do 20 things at once. This has a vibe and it's sticking to it. Little cute pillows. I'm not dragging this one. Please mind your head. Oh my God, cute. I bet the floor is really uneven and like rickety. Is rickety the right word? I bet it's that and I like that. <laughs> Oh, gaze the word. Okay. Okay. I've been to gaze the word and I love it. 
I love it. I love Gay's the Word. I ain't got anything to drag here. I ain't got anything to roast. I love it. I love it. The people who own it are very, very nice. Listen, it's forgotten the gays. It's forgotten the gays. And it's for God and for the gays. Oh, pals in Oregon. I've heard a lot about pals. Miss pals. Miss I'm the biggest bookshop in the world pals. Smell bound under a spell by the scent of books. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. uh 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 They made that sign in like 2013, height of Tumblr, and they did not think about how it would age. It looks cute. Whoa. That's giving me a different, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. No, here's the thing. I'd love to go to a bookshop that big. So I'm chatting shit. But this part with the lighting, nice lighting gives, oh my God, warm, cozy. I could totally vibe. But then this gives me stark light of day, very bad unflattering lighting for the face. You know what I mean? So vlogging in there, I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> The feminist bookshop in Brighton. They have a little cafe, a big collection of queer feminist etc. books, sell some secondhand books and cool merch, a must visit if in Brighton. Oh. Oh, she's cute. Wait, am I in someone's house? This gives me <laughs> Essex mum house vibes. Not a joke, just a fact. Not a joke, just a fact. Ah! Not a joke, just a fact. Ah! It does give me Essex. If you don't know I'm from Essex, could you tell? <laughs> This gives me, yeah, like the basement, like the kitchen, like we're gonna have some gray, like sparkly countertop just over here. This gives me very Essex mum vibes, but this is cute. Okay, Ava's sent in a few. The last bookstore in LA, oh, is this the like tunnel? Yeah, it's that bitch, isn't it? Here's the thing, Al <laughs> LA is like, uh, we've gotta be different, but like, uh, here's the thing. I like theatricality. I can't be in one breath asking for different ways to present books. And then in the next breath, be ridiculing them when they do that. I have to admire the hustle and the like, the commitment. I like it. I like it. It is a little bit, a little bit, a lot, but don't we all like a little bit, a lot? Yeah, we do. Sky, okay, yeah, Ale really is this bitch. Ale said, yep, yep. We're taking all of the bookshops, all the cool ideas. Us. So be cool. Don't be all like uncool. Whereas I have like one bookshop in my vicinity and it's disappointing. It's disappointing. <laughs> they said, let me give you the drama. Let me give you the drama. I I guess the windows at your car. Car. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah. Okay. I've always been interested in going to the ripped bodice. I, I mean, come on. The drama. The drama. This is what I'm asking for. I am starved of drama. I am starved of it. Do I have to go to LA just to go to dramatic bookstores? Is that gonna be my like character origin story? Like this bitch, why are they giving me what everyone refuses to give? Oh, another one in Belgium. Excuse me, Belgium. Write it down. Write it down, everyone. Write it down. Here we're coming. Whoa, that's, there's a lot going on here. There's a. There's a lot going on here. It's getting weird. This is kind of giving me like horror story vibes. Like what? She's kind of cute, but it kind of gives me like renovated hotel vibes. It doesn't feel like a bookshop. It's giving me renovated hotel. It's giving me there's some scary fucking ghosts here from the 1920s who are gonna like haunt me and I take them home with me when I buy my books. I don't know. Sappho's Books is a used bookstore, cafe and wine bar all in one with added live music and a bookstore cat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the cat? Show me the fucking cat. It's the best one. What's the cat's name? That's what I want to know. Oh, the pancakes. Okay. Okay. Sydney, book the flight. Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> okay. She's cute. Philosophy though. Focusing on philosophy gives me gives me dangerous vibes. <laughs> Beth sent me one on Instagram. Let's go over to Instagram. Let's go over to Instagram. Scar thin book. Oh, scar thin. Scar thin. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Drama queen. Oh, okay. Drama queen. <laughs> I like this one. I mean, I know I, I'm supposed to be dragging. Um, I like it. I like the vibes. Oh, cozy. Let me sit there with the cat. <gasps> the me and the cat just like relaxing. I would cry. I would, cr I just love cats. Oh my God, the cat is everywhere. Okay. 
What's the cat's name? Beano. 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 Oh, this is a cute one. Okay, Beth, maybe you win. Maybe you win. I like it. Homemade soup, coffee. Okay. I like that one. Gives me cozy vibes. Give me cozy small town vibes. But would it have any books I like? That's the question. Bookshops like this, I kind of focus on like poetry and like antiques and like old books. Are you going to give me like fucking Nina LaCour's new release? Are you going to give me that? Are you going to give me Dean Atter's new release? No, you're not. See, that's what I'm coming there to buy and you're not going to have it. You're not going to have it. So it's actually... Thank you. Thank you. Your winning card is revoked. <laughs> so there we have it, everyone. That was me roasting your favorite bookshops. I actually failed to roast you. I actually roasted the bookshops. I thought I wouldn't be able to do that, but actually I can do anything. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you got onto the end of the video, comment a cat. Is that a cat emoji? Someone tell me. There has to be. Comment the cat face emoji because every bookstore needs a bookshop cat. Comment that down below if you got onto the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.